What is going on guys and welcome to another video. Now today what I want to show you is how to set up a locked folder. Now what a locked folder is, is pretty much an album that is not going to be visible or accessible to anybody in case your phone gets lost or stolen or somebody manages to get access to your phone and decides to go through your pictures. Anything that you put into a locked folder will not be accessible or visible to anybody who doesn't know how to unlock your phone. So to set that up, what you want to do is tap on the photo app and then go over to library. And then up here, just tap on utilities, scroll down a little bit until you see locked folder. If you tap into here, it'll kind of take you through the setup process for that. So we're going to tap on that and it's going to ask you for a pin or your fingerprint, depending on what biometrics you have set up. So I'm just going to tap into here and then it says, that's it. You're all set up. You can now find locked folder in utilities under the library tab in Google Photos. So you can go to locked photo from here, locked album, sorry, from here. And you see it says nothing here yet because obviously we don't have any photos in here. So what we can do is actually go back to the camera app and let's say we want to take a picture of something. If we take a picture just like that and then we go all the way back to our photo, photo album, if we get out of here, you see, we, you see in our camera roll under photos, this picture is accessible to anybody. But what we can actually do is back in the camera app, if we tap on here again and we select locked folder, now anytime we take a picture, let's say we take a picture of something else, let's say this phone, if we take a picture of this, now this actually will not be accessible in the camera roll. You can see that picture is not there. But if we go to libraries, we go to utilities, and we go back to our locked folder, it will actually ask us for our fingerprint or our pin or our face unlock, whatever you have set up. If we tap on here, now what you can see is that picture that we took of our phone is actually hidden in the locked folder and nobody will be able to access it unless they know our pin or have our face or our fingerprint to match. They will not be able to access this picture. So that's pretty much how you set up a locked folder. A really cool way to hide any sensitive data or if you're taking any pictures that you don't want to share with anyone or you don't want anyone to see in case you lose your phone or somebody manages to get access to your phone, they will not be able to see these pictures unless they know your pin have your fingerprint or your face, which I doubt they do. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much how you set up a locked folder. Now, if you do want to move, let's say, pictures that you have existing already to a locked folder. So let's say we took this picture right here. If we want to move this to the locked folder and out of our camera roll, what you can do is actually go to the picture and then tap these three dots. And you see right there, it says, uh, where is it? Uh, move to locked folder. So if we tap on that, it's just going to ask us, is that what you want to do? We're going to tap move. You can see it's moving it out of our camera roll and into the locked folder. So there you go. We're just going to tap done. Now you can see again, it says no photos in our camera roll. So if we go to library, go to utilities, go back to our locked folder, authenticate ourselves. You, there you go. You can see the picture is now hidden away in our locked folder along with the other picture we took. So there you go. That's one way that you can move existing pictures to the locked folder and also a way that you can actually take pictures directly from your camera and move it to the locked folder like that. There you go guys, a really easy way to keep any sensitive pictures away from prying eyes. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.